Good evening, and welcome to episode 45 of season 9 of Factory Town Pipe Mania, where this wasn't complete. It wasn't finished properly. Um, I missed the uh, the boosters, the coin boosters, off of all of the workshops that were making books. I missed all of them. Now they're on there, so everything's been fine. Uh, also, it seems that when it actually kicks in for heavy demand, uh, we can't get enough paper into them, and that's purely a throughput problem. There's not enough, the, the pipes do not send the paper from here to here quick enough to keep up, which is a problem. We need to deal with that, and we're not getting enough mana uh, crystal, uh, stones in, so, but that's fine. That's, we have got 1.6k research across the board, apart from fire. For some reason, fire is going faster than the rest. And I, I, I get that because these were not boosted in any way, shape or form. So fire's had a, a bit of a head, a head start. However, our coins are suffering. Boom, look at that. Uh, over the last 30 seconds, we have gone from 32,000 to 24,000. So we're using nearly, nearly 20,000 coins a minute. But it won't be now because uh, uh, these are not going to be running as fast. Um, everything, everything's kind of slowed down um, because uh, we're not getting enough crystals inside the, the bottleneck now so we're not getting enough stones in but that's okay because we need to do something to make some yellow coin so let's do that this episode let's leave that running and uh, if this drops too low I will pause the game because we need coins to make the, uh, the um, uh, to build the pipes so let's have a look see at production here not production uh, I want to look at good good here uh, and I want to make this bigger and scroll down here and see the best thing we can sell for coins is berry cake and i really want to sell berry cake because berry cake is awesome so in the tavern gives three happiness is worth 100 coins a go i really want to sell berry cake you can sell standard cake um but if you add berries to it it just becomes better um and if we come over to here our tavern uh is actually full our tavern's 100 percent happiness see if i mass of that on the right hand side it says 696 out of 696 nice and it is uh a gourmet food because we are doing all three jams but we're going to sell cake as well which is three happiness which means we get up to nine happiness but we only we don't ever get to six it won't ever go up so cake is purely going to be for money making and we're going to need that we're going to desperately desperately so how do that i mean we could also do it where we don't make enough cake for the whole area we just do it as a money thing so we just say for instance put down a single kitchen that makes berry cake and build everything behind it to make a single berry cake kitchen i mean that would work what would we need what we need to make it let's 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 start at the uh, th we're not going to build it here i'm just going to put it here because of uh, things so squad in here we go to berry cake which is here but on so what do we need let's have a quick look at the numbers here the numbers numbers uh, so berry cake is 90 and 120. I can look at it here, can't I? Boom. Yeah. Uh, so uh, 90 plus 120 is 210. Divide that by 2 because we are halfway. It's 105. Uh, this is familiar numbers. Divide that by how long it takes to make a berry cake, which is 10. That means one kitchen running at normal speed can support 10 houses. One berry cake kitchen with a K. Ten. No, it's actually ten point five, but we're going over ten. It's easier. So if we want to support this, we would have to build sixteen of these right now. No, uh, twelve of these right now. We've got one hundred and twenty-six houses because we haven't actually done the rest of the houses. But let's put some more houses. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we can support six more houses, but. I'll just um, yeah, uh, ah, we'll leave it for a minute. Um, yeah. So with, uh, with 126, we need 12.6. So we need 13 of these if we did that. If we obviously sped it up, each time we speed it up with a yellow coin booster, it doubles it. So it would do 20 houses. And then at 4 would be 40 houses. And then at 8 would be, uh, sorry, uh, 20. Yeah, and at 4 would be 40 houses. Uh, 8 would be 80 houses. So, yeah. Why does that seem wrong? 
am I, am I saying that wrong? If I double speed it, then it can support, it can, it can make two in 10 seconds instead of one in 10 seconds, which means it can do 10 houses. And if I do it by four times speed, that means it can support 40. Yeah, that might. If it was making one a second, if it was making one a second, it would be producing 105. So yeah, if we, if we sped it up to 10 times speed, it would produce one cake a second. There is no way we could supply enough goods to this to to be able to do that. That the the that would be that would be a that um I one cake a second. Shall we go for one cake a second? Let's go for one cake a second. Let's do it. Let's do one cake a second. Let's go for it. Let's why not? Why not? Why not? And we need to build everything we need to, to do that. That seems like a nice challenge. We'll do we'll do one cake a second. Yeah. Where are we gonna build it? Uh, I need somewhere flat and I need lots of farms for it. Oh, lots of farms for it. Oh dear. Um, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I need somewhere nice. Somewhere flat. We've got some farms down here. We do have a town centre here as well. Uh, we could level this down. I mean, the farm. The farm's not really helping. Um, it's, it's adding a little bit of a booster to it. it we, are, we are getting a lot big booster because of the workers, so it's not so bad. But um. um I don't want to do that. I don't want to level that down. Move this back. Level down behind here. Build the cake behind here. Level the cake input that way. I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. Let's use up loads of our red coins. Uh, how much space do we need? Let's go here. Um, I really miss... Um, back in, in previous versions of Factory Town, there was a way you could put the camera... You could do this view, but above ground. And it would stay... Oh, that. I missed that view. I really wish they'd bring that view back. Oh, I feel like a dumbass right now. Because um, <laughs> uh, this allows you to just hold the mouse in one place and then move the camera backwards and forwards with the, the WSD keys and everything's just completely smooth. So, yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh well, oh well. It's fine, it's fine. Zoom. There we go. I didn't know it was there. I leveled that whole other area out by trying to get the camera dead, dead right. I did, I did, don't believe. <sighs> okay, so we're back, and hopefully everything is good now. Um, for some reason, OBS completely crashed when I came out of grid mode. Which I, but no, it's okay. When I came out of grid mode, um, OBS crashed. It was weird, and it happened twice in a row. We start computer. Maybe I'll fix it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so, um, uh, yes, so grid mode, that grid mode is there. Overhead grid mode, lock the camera to overhead grid mode, up, down, left, right on the, the keyboard, keeps you top down, and it's completely square. You can't rotate the camera at all, so you can't do this here. If you do it and then do that, it locks to, locks to the grid. Cool. So we're going to do a couple of things as well. We're going to, we're going to do two things. Uh, first of all, we are going to move this here. Well, this is running out of coal. Oh, oh, that's going to cause all sorts of problems, isn't it? Uh oh, uh oh, we need some more coal. There is coal up here, isn't it? Yes, there is. Okay, okay. We're going to move this coal down to here somewhere. Uh, where is our omnipump something? I'll make sure I don't mix up something bad here. Uh, I think we'll move it to just above that path there. It can live here for a moment. Okay. Um, and what we can do is we can go to the mining layer and we can take the mine shafts and we can run a mine shaft up and connect it to there and if I unpause and re -pause. No? That's not the way that's supposed to work. Oh, is that the limit? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I knew, th I knew there was a limit. Didn't realise it was that short. Okay, okay. I guess we will move this up to here then. Yeah, you can see. Ah, there we go. You can see as I move it up and down. See the the highlight change at the top. So it has to be here at least. But we'll put it there, which means that we're not going to affect if we've had to put another farm on this side here. So there we go. And then we can remove that, and that all gets connected still. Okay, then we can come to the omnipipes. 
And we need to move all these over. Let's remove these. Okay. And I also want to kind of connect into this here. Uh, not a mine here. There's a mine here which is doing coal. There's a mine there doing stone. That one we'll leave alone. I think we'll put another mine up here. Because we're going to need more than... I can get all those. We go underground. And I wanted to move this mine because I want to flatten this down and leave this terrain for our, our berry area. So I want to move the mine away a little bit. Um I'm thinking. What if we it doesn't really matter about underground, but we're fine for it. Uh, what if I connect all these up? Like this. And then bring this one in. That's really awkward. That's really awkward. Maybe I should just put a forester down here and run everything on trees. Uh, that works really well. Um, oh, we're not quite out of magma power yet. Let's just connect this up any old hell. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and just connect this one up here and then I think I'm going to disconnect this one. Oh, like that. So this mine is going to be responsible for doing uh, our uh, cooked chicken and the other mine is going to be responsible for the... Um, beef and also the fish as well. Do we have any other mines over here nearby? Iron coal there. Let's tap into that one. Let's tap into this one here. And we'll do this. Uh, we'll completely rearrange this. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking that we may even change this uh, again later to be... Um, so you're going to do chicken. Okay, when I pause the game, you can run out of coal down there. We need to fix this room, fix this. Um, uh, I think what we'll do. I think we'll do. If we do this. And do it. Uh, oh, and I'm pause and I need to change this. That's input only. Okay. Okay, got to make sure they're input because if they become input output, they will output stuff we don't want to output. We'll send all the coal by, like this, yeah, then we can pause the game again, and grab this, actually I want to make sure the coal goes by, there we go, then we can turn it round, like so, and then double check them all, input, 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 okay, there we go, and then they'll get coal, so this one is now providing coal for the fish, this one is providing it for the chicken, and this one is providing it for the beef. Uh, I do think we need to grab some more workers in this one. And we should also uh, also add it. Uh, mine it all up. There. 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 Boom. Oh, all the mine. All the stuff. Up. Okay. Once we get the ability to uh, plant down things, we will be planting down stuff. Okay, okay, so that goes up there, so I want to do this. That is the line. That is the line. The line has been drawn. You may not cross the line. Uh, so this is all going to be this area here, maybe a bit more. Um, move this. We'll go. We'll put it up there for a minute. So these three are getting a bonus, but we, we could cut that off and not give them a bonus. Um, but yeah, so this is this is this is the line. Yeah, okay. So here is where we're gonna do berry bush, and we're gonna try berry bush. Um, not a berry bush, berry cake, berry cake, and it, it it's gonna be sideways. So we're gonna grab everything here, and it's gonna come this way to here. So let's clear out everything in here, which is gonna be a big hit on our yellow coins again. I need to pause the game. Uh, actually, not as bad as I thought. There you go. Cool. 
Okay. Okay. And I kind of want to... Um, I want to keep it within the boundary of the... Just so we can get the little boost from it. It doesn't, it doesn't do a great deal. It doesn't do a great deal, to be honest. But, but it, it's a boost. It's a boost nonetheless. Okay. So. So we want to go kitchen. Kitchen wants to go... Um, here. I'm going to break this right now. So that I can see the numbers are correct. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So you are going to be wanting to do a berry cake. And we are going to boost you with... Ironically, yellow coin boosters. So we're going to use yellow coin boosters. Do I want to do that? I mean, this this adds plus two work units for steam. Steam is something we haven't tapped into yet. I did say I was going to do it a while ago, but we haven't. I kind of think we should. Steam steam is useful. It gives, it gives you just a flat boost of two. It's not a great deal. Say two, but it's free. It's, it's like it just it needs a little bit of trees to work. Really, I think I think we we'll wait. I think. Oh, excuse me. I want to take a quick sip of coffee and try to breathe it instead of drink, drinking it. Don't recommend. Don't recommend. Um, I think what we'll do instead is we'll wait for us to get fire research, which we are pro we can do. It's only 25 we point but 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 um, that's fine. Uh, fire power, um, which unlocks the fire temple. And then I think fire boost, this one here. The fire booster needs the next technology level, so we're a little bit away from that. But the fire booster allows you to magically create magma to then use in your buildings. And one bucket of magma, and I've just realized that's wrong, because it's above ground, which makes it lava, technically. If it's underground, sealed cavern, magma. If it's above ground, it's lava. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, one, one bucket of fire um is worth eight fuel so it's really worth doing it's worth doing the little tiny setup it doesn't take a lot of space it really doesn't we, we, to, to support all of these i can do it on the bottom and then do it underground that's fine can't be piped inside uh fluid pipes for obvious reasons they're made of wood really wish it could be done inside steam pipes but we'll have to deal with omni pipes instead which does involve a little bit of jiggery pokery under the underground or above ground. We have left a gap between them. It is possible to do it above ground as well. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see when I have it. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's get on with this. So, very cake. Yeah, we're gonna add the yellow coin boosters and we're gonna throw that many in there. So you are running at 10 speed. Okay, which means you are making one berry cake per second. You will supply 105 houses. If my calculations are correct. It takes 105 seconds to consume one. So if we're producing one a second, that's 105 seconds, which is 105 houses. Awesome. So if we put two of these, we'd support our entire network. Let's see how big one build is, and then maybe we'll do another one next week. So what does this require? Well, it requires a cake, apple jam, sugar, and berries. But it requires four berries, which is a lot. Which is a lot. Um, not because of the farms. Farms can, can munch on berries really, really quickly. In fact, I think there are farms here doing nothing, aren't there? I'm pretty sure these cotton farms are doing absolutely nothing. So we could repurpose some things here. And these, I don't think, are doing anything either. No, they're not doing anything. We might tap those into there. And then I think tap these into here as well. Although this one's doing okay. We might, we might have to change that. But, but anyway. Um, so this requires farms. It requires farms doing berries and sugar. And four berries a second is a lot. Let me show you why. Um, if I put this down, uh, let's just say we'll put it here. Okay. And you are going to be doing... Double click. Berries. Now it takes two seconds to harvest a berry. And we need four a second. So two, that is doing one berry a second. At four, it's doing two. At six, it's doing three. And at eight, it's doing one berry a second. However, berries do not grow that quickly. Um, berries, berries do not grow. Bom berries, berries take a long time. It doesn't tell you how long. Uh, I thought it did. I thought it told you how long they took to grow. Um, yeah, they they take a while to grow. So 
Doing this, we are not going to get enough berries in. We are going to consume all the berries, and they're gone by the time they get regrown. Four seconds is a lot. So we need to, at the very least, double this up. I might even do four. Like this. All being berries. Because I I, I have a feeling that it's not gonna it's not gonna do enough. Eleven. Yeah, we'll do we'll do four lots of berry. Money, money, money. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, we then need sugar. Now sugar is um, two everything, so so we need to look at this. So let's go with sugar. Uh, right, let's uh, uh, copy, copy, paste, paste, paste. Then we add eight workers. Oh yeah, Up to eight workers. Hey, okay, sugar, sugar, double click. Um, sugar is four seconds. So this is the same. It takes four seconds to harvest one. So in order to get now um, with all this here as well, I don't need to actually have these running eight. Um, we could half these. Um, uh, you could half these to four because there's only four there, and then you could half them again to two, which means you're doing one a second, and then you are doing one a second, and then you are doing one a second. Um, so they're all doing one a second, which makes four a second, which is the nice input that we want. So I think we're going to do that for for those. Now I am limited to inputs as well. I need four inputs on this. So we need to be careful with that. I think we're going to do sugar and berries above ground. And then um, the others underground to come into it. Uh, yeah. So this this is, takes four seconds to produce one. So if I do that, that produces one a second. And then we duplicate this over here. Sugar. Oh, click the right buttons. There we go. Four a second. But on. That makes one a second. So that means you're doing two a second and you need to a second. Okay. Sugar. I'm very concerned. We don't have enough money. Very, very concerned here. Yep, we don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to plant down all the sugar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is a problem. Um, <clears throat> we still need to build way more. Okay. Um... I'm going to turn off our research. Uh, down here. So let's turn off those. I was just going to do that as well. I'm going to do click, click on that. Um, and then I've got to unpause the game. And our coins are just going to still diminish for a while. In fact, we're going to probably run out of them. What we can do, what we can do is we can go to uh, production. And we can hit this pause button here, which stops all of our buildings that are currently consuming yellow coins from consuming them, which means our coins will start building. The problem to that is that it absolutely destroys our production in all sorts of places. So that's going to be a problem here. What did I do there? Also, not only what did I do there, hang on a minute, there's sugar down here. Oh, uh, yeah, there's your sugar for this, which is this. Okay. Okay, so we didn't put another one in there for sugar. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We could use the sugar input with. Um, there we go. We're going to very quickly build coins. Very quickly build the yellow coins. Or else we're not using them. Does mean all our production drops, but that's fine. Our happiness can drop for a little bit. Not a problem. Our happiness can afford to drop for a bit whilst we build this. Anyway, there we go. There's those. So let's put in the pipes for this. So I think... I want to do I want to go one above. And then in. Same here. And do the same one here because again I don't want throughput to be a problem. Do the same here, go one above, and that can go in the center. You can go one above, you do that, and there you go. Okay, so that's feeding berries and sugar in, and that should be fine. I think that should be fine. Um, I think the sugar will grow quick enough for this to work, even with four workers. I don't know how quickly it takes to grow things. It doesn't doesn't tell me how long it takes to grow i wish it would i could probably figure it out i could probably figure out crop growth i should do that i should do figure out crop growth and write it down somewhere 
but I'm not sure how much it is. And also the affinity as well. I think a lot of these have got affinity. Some of them may have stone affinity. Uh, that's coal affinity, ironically, so um, we'll have to deal with that. But that's fine. So that's, that's that there. So that's just the berries required for this. We now need apple jam. Apple jam is made in the kitchen. Which is going to go here. I'm going to leave a gap so I can run the road up. <clears throat> leave a gap. Um, and these will have to have the... Uh, they'll probably have to lose one crop to get the road in. So everything gets the bonus from the road. Maybe the bonus can be enough to keep this one producing enough for doing everything. But it's fine right now because we don't need... We don't need uh, right, you are going to be doing apple jam. Good on. And you require two apple jam a second. You take five seconds to make one apple jam. You need up to ten coin boosters. Like that. You need ten work speed. Uh, oh yeah, everything is these are paused right now, so it's not showing. But that will be ten work speed. Um so Yeah, at ten work speed. You'll produce five. It produce two uh, apple jam, which is fine. Requires fuel. That's the awkward part. We do have coal. Uh, we do have coal up here as well, which I've just noticed. Uh, we can do. We can always access coal for that. I think. Does this? This doesn't require that. I think cake does. Cake does require fuel as well. Cake is complicated. Cake is way bigger than this. Um, I was just I was just toying with the idea of maybe rather than having this run at full speed we should just leave it at normal speed and then build 10 of them <laughs> uh, because it would be a much smaller build if we went down that route it'd be a much smaller build and then you just build 10 of them and it'd be spreading the weight out and then you wouldn't have to worry about throughput of the uh I don't know I don't know which way to go I don't know which way to go um I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I will let you decide. I'll let you decide. I'll tell you what. We're going to leave this one here. We're going to stop right in the middle of doing right now. Bam. We'll stop. What should I do? Should I do this? Should I pursue trying to make this work at 10 a go? Um, so it's going to be producing one berry cake a second. Or should I build 10 of these to make one berry cake a second? Which way do you reckon I should go? Mass production or single channel? don't know whether the pipes are going to be enough to deal with it i would hope so i would hope so but we'll see we'll see um let me know what do you think which way should we go which we go one one kitchen or many kitchens let me know in the comments below and next time we will build whatever it is you say and we'll take it from there so we'll leave this here we shall come back later thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one I hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>